Hey guys, so after many comments and emails asking how I measure and to get my pattern, I thought I'd show you. So here's a KitchenAid cover I made actually for my mom as a gift for her new kitchen. And what I did was I measured the width, the height, and then going from one side around and over, as well as you need to measure the depth. So with my measurements, I started with making a big piece by using the depth of the machine measurement and over the machine measurement, adding a few inches. Here I'm placing my quilted design on it. And this is optional, I just chose to do it as a little accent and to personalize it. Once you have your main piece, we're going to start working on the side pieces that have a curve at the top. Using the width of your machine by the height, cut out two of your outside fabric. Using the depth of your machine and the height, divide your height in thirds or half depending how big you want your pockets to be and cut out two of that size for the pockets. Then cut out your sides for the inside with the inside fabric, and then cut out two of your inside fabric. cut out the inside fabric for your main piece. Now, as you can see, I actually use my other pieces as my measurement guide. I measure them and then I go to my fabric and I cut. Then you also want to cut this with your batting. In the first video I showed you how to use a quilting batting that you stitch a design all around on. In this one I'm going to show you how to use another type of batting, which I actually came to prefer. Not only because it's quicker, but I just like the look it gives a little more. I'm using a 
double-sided fusible matting. I'm demonstrating how to do it on the pocket. I lay my pieces on top of each other, sandwich the batting in the middle, and then I press so it's gluing the fabric down. Do this for all pieces, the pockets, the main piece, and your front and back side pieces. Now for your front and back side pieces, make a curve. It doesn't have to be a certain measurement, but as you can see here, I've just made a slight curve that I folded my piece over to cut again. And then following the original video, assemble and you have a new KitchenAid cover. Thanks guys, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.